March of 2020, when messages of famine and disease were flooding every news station and social media channel, I admittedly became overwhelmed with fear and anxiety. But most of all, I remember being overcome with the fear of being out of control. So, just like any other type A woman, I decided I was gonna focus on the two things that I could control. I was gonna focus on controlling my family. I was gonna do whatever it took to make sure that my family remained empowered and protected no matter what. And I was gonna start a vegetable garden. More accurately, I was gonna make my husband start a vegetable garden for me. I had these dreams, these Instagram-inspired dreams. I follow people like Shay Elliott and Joe Winger, who make homesteading and growing your own food look amazing and totally achievable. But this is what my garden looks like today, you guys. I actually took a picture of it right before I got on a plane. Okay, so while I absolutely failed at that goal, I have been rocking that first goal for the past year and a half, and I'm gonna share with you how. But first, let's figure out what I did wrong with the garden, because I found out there are, that there are a lot of parallels between taking care of plants and taking care of humans. So what I did wrong was I failed to protect my plants. That's why they, that's why they, what's wrong? Oh, okay. That's why the, it didn't work out. That's why they died. I didn't realize, I mean, I wanted the organic garden. I wasn't gonna use Roundup, no pesticides, no herbicides. And so I didn't realize I needed some type of plan of action to protect my plants. I knew you could use essential oils for plants, so I sprinkled geranium on there and citronella. I didn't actually know the right formulas. I didn't know that you could bring in other insects to, to protect your plants from the bad insects. I should have gone in with a better strategy. Is my audio okay? Okay. The second thing I learned is that you have to nourish your soil. It's not enough to just go buy the expensive soil, the organic, the one with all the extra nutrition in there. You have to actually bring in worms to aerate the soil. And I didn't know that I was also supposed to change the amount of water per plant. Didn't know that either. And then the third thing I did wrong was I didn't give my plants enough time to rest in the shade. And so, epic fail. Now, I, my background is in functional medicine. I've been in practice for the past 10 years, and so I know a lot about how to take care of the human body. In retrospect, I realized that there's a lot of parallels in taking care of plants than it, that there are a, when, that you need to do in order to take care of humans. And so let me share with you guys some daily habits that my family and I have employed over the past year and a half that you too can utilize to help you stay empowered no matter what variant comes up between now and next week or three or four months from now. So protect your people. The way that you do that is with essential oils, of course. And so last year in March, I sat down after getting all of the news briefings of what was coming out, and I said, I'm gonna figure out the very best essential oil blend out there. I'm gonna make these roller bottles and these sprays for my family because we're gonna stay healthy. Well, it turns out, you guys, that Dr. Hill is so brilliant, he'd already done this. So Breathe and On Guard are actually some of the most intelligently formulated blends of essential oils to keep you protected with this current environment that our immune system is living in. I actually did some more recently, I actually pulled up some research on eucalyptus, and I wanna invite everybody to get on pubmed.org, at some uh, pubmed.gov at some point today, and type, it, type in eucalyptus and the, the CV, okay? I don't think I can say that word with the 19 in it, okay? And actually, you're gonna see what I saw. More recent studies done in 2021 showing what the possibility what eucalyptus essential oil can do to protect a human body today, this year, right now. And eucalyptus is in all of both of these blends, On Guard and Breathe. And what I love about doTERRA is they've created these two oils and put them in and infuse them in many different types of oil platforms. We have On Guard and Breathe Touch, 
We have the On Guard and Breathe Pure 15 ml. We now have um, On Guard Cough Drops and the Breathe Vapor Stick, which makes it so easy for you to utilize these things with um, you know, the children with the vapor stick and for us on guard cough drops on the go like I was using these on the plane yesterday to make sure I was handing my body the tools that were going to keep me protected. What went the second parallel here is proper nourishment. So just like I should have been paying more attention to nourishing my soil, which is ultimately the delivery for nutrition to the plant, we as human beings need to make sure that we are nourishing our gut. That's our soil. Now there are a couple of different things that you can do on a daily basis to ensure that your gut is being properly nourished. The first thing is to give your body the Terrazyme with every single meal. Terrazyme kind of acts like Pac-Man. It goes in and helps your body chew up the food that you handed it. This ensures that you're not only breaking up the food appropriately, but making sure that your gut has the ability to take those nutrients and suck it in and be able to use it all throughout your entire system on a systemic level. Now, if you're somebody that struggles with bloating, maybe in between meals, you can actually employ Terrazyme to do a little bit of extra work for you. So if you're somebody who stays bloated maybe two hours after a meal, take an extra one or two Terrazyme. That's gonna help you digest your food with greater ease. And also clean up the rancid and rotting food that might be hanging out in your gut, which is very common. It's so critical that your gut is being, is being well-maintained because 70% of our immune system lives in our digestive tract. And so one of the most important things to do on a daily basis is to actually give your body a little bit of support in getting rid of the bad bugs. Maintaining a healthy microflora. A lot of people think the best way to do this is to take probiotics, but I actually have a better solution and it's Digestsense soft gels. You guys, inside of your digestive system, we're constantly ha having to struggle with um, balanced bacteria. Anybody heard of Candida? What about small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBO? That's a key word nowadays. And I don't want to shock you, but most of us are walking around with parasite infestations in our gut. The thing about this is if you have an imbalance in your microflora with too many bad bugs, there's not enough terrain for the good bugs to thrive. It doesn't matter how much probiotic you hand it. And so what makes the most sense is to take digestive and soft gels on a daily basis, help your body clear out the bad bugs so that when you do take probiotics, there's actually more real estate available in your gut for the good bacteria to then flourish. So take that uh, one soft gel twice a day. When your gut flora is more, better balanced, your immune system does not have uh, a hole in the tire. Does that make sense? Because if you don't have the good bacteria, if you have uh, bad bugs cause, um, building up, then your immune system is fighting those bad bugs and then there's not enough strength in your immunity on a peripheral level. Okay, so nourish that gut. Now the third thing that went, the third parallel is to make sure that the human body is getting enough rest. I'm sure my, and who's type A? Men or women? Do I got, okay, quite a few of us, right? How many of you guys go to bed at night and that's when your brain thinks it's the best time to work things out? Anybody? That's what my brain thinks. The problem with that is it's at nighttime when we're sleeping that our immune system wakes up and really goes to town. That's when your immune system has time. When you go into the rest and repair phase at night, that's when your immune system revs up and goes after all the things that you are exposed to during the day. Now you probably know this because most of us, when we're sick, we wake up in the middle of the night and that's when we feel that sore throat, the achy body. Okay, so if you're not getting a good night's sleep, you're not giving your immune system the time it needs to wake up and kill the things that it's been exposed to. So if you struggle with sleep, some really good habits that you can employ that we really became diligent with over the past year and a half is to make lavender tea at night. Yes, take that lavender essential oil, do one drop in hot water with a little bit of raw or organic honey and just sip it and kind of make it your evening time ritual. Lavender is full of linalool and it's gonna make it easy for your body to relax and for your mind to quiet. And then finally, if you're somebody that really has a hard time sleeping, you can take Serenity Soft Gels. This is actually full of herbs that work on the mechanics of sleep. So it supports healthy hormones and neurotransmitters that help your body to get into that deep, re re relaxed, and restful state. So while I did fail in growing food, I absolutely rocked it in protecting my family. And I think, I hope that all of you guys feel empowered and feel, don't feel worried at all when it comes to taking care of your family.
The Cura Kit is a great place to start if you're brand new to essential oils. This is going to give you those six daily rituals that I talked about today. There is no need to fear coronated pests today, tomorrow, or months from now because doTERRA has the Cura. Thank you.